What am I going to do this morning? Should I wash my truck, maybe? Got my ballistic gel set up at 25 yards distant. Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Man, welcome to a glorious day here in Central Ohio. Last days of summer. Well, we probably got a couple more weeks until the fall season starts and man, I'm ready to go deer hunting. So I've got my 360 buck hammer. I've got actually three different loads I'm testing this morning. I've got the 200 grain maker. This bullet was originally designed for the 35 Remington. 360 buck hammer, 2,156 feet per second. All right, let's get the uh, high speed camera ready. One loaded, get on the block here, take the shot. Nice! Man, you gotta love those maker bullets, stand by. Folks, that is just awesome, man. 200 grain maker, three pedals, broke off, and then the main bullet penetrated, oh my gosh, 16 inches, plus probably another 12, 28 inches. There's the main shank right there. Let me get my tactical hemos out. We'll dig out some pedals, stand by. All right, folks, I think I found my deer hunting bullet. Man, look at that. Boy, you gotta love those results. 200 grain maker, got beautiful expansion, and then I've got ultimate penetration, 28 inches. There's gonna be blood trails here, my friends. No 350 legend pencil holes here for sure. All right, folks, up next, these are the, I had the now defunct Lehigh Defense, 100 grain, three, 38 special 357 magnum bullet 3003 3, feet per second 360 buck hammer this is going to get exciting folks 360 buck hammer 3000 feet per second here we go i'm going to aim for about center of the block now to get a center shot wow. oh my goodness total destruction i promise you Well, I promise you folks, no recovery here. 116 inch, 216 inch, 32 inches total penetration. There's the exit right there. <laughs> folks, that's a 38 or 357 Magnum bullet going at 3,000 plus feet per second. All right, folks, last but not least, these are the... I've got the Hornady 200 grain flex tip. Probably designed for the 35 Remington as well. 2,173 feet per second. 360 buck hammer. All right, let's see how these do. Here we go. <laughs> nice. Oh my gosh, it threw the block down. Stay tuned. All right, folks, so the block ended up on the ground. Let me go reset. So the high-speed camera is going to show the bloom. Looked like a pretty decent bloom, but man, I'll tell you what, folks. 16 and another probably at least 12. That's another 28 inches of penetration. That's the Hornady 200 grain FTX. Look at that. The red tip came off within an inch. 
You know, folks always worry about that flex tip not coming off, but it obviously came off. Okay, stand by. I'll get the uh, the bullet out of the gel. All right, folks, this is the 200 grain Hornady FTX. As you can see, we got a decent mushroom. Flex tip came off within an inch of penetration. That's a decent mushroom. All right, folks, I'm going to set back at 75 yards. I just want to see how these 200 grain makers are doing. Haven't really sighted in yet. I think I only got like a handful of rounds left. But I just want to see curious what kind of results we'll get here. Stand by. Let me tell you folks. 75 yards. 200 grain makers. Man, you're going to be hard pressed to beat that. That might have been me. I mean, I that's easily... Uh, Probably three-eighths of an inch at 75 yards. That had some potential for an MOA rifle, which is crazy. All right, folks, this Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. You know, just another observation. I mean, this is, I think, just the third video I've done on the 360 buck hammer. But at this stage in the proceedings, compared to the 350 Legend, I mean, I've, I've just pulled three bullets that weren't probably not even designed for the 360 buck hammer. They're just working great. I mean, you look at the uh, 200 grain maker. I'm probably going to deer hunt with that bullet. That's an awesome design bullet. Even the Hornady 200 grain flex tip. You know, that was a problem with the 350 Legend when it first came out. The factory bullets were not expanding. You know, uh, guys were getting marginal uh, results even on, you know, double lung shots. Bullets weren't expanding, penciling through, no blood trails. I tell you what, once once again, Henry and Remington has hit a home run. Stay tuned. I got more testing to do. So this Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, support that Second Amendment. We'll see you later, and I thank you.